A slight goat just now. This comes from a goat? Yeah, this is goat cheese. Gosh, That is not disgusting, that is really pleasant. I don't want to swallow it, but I don't want it in my mouth. No, it isn't, it's horrible. I'm crying, I'm actually crying. I'm not eating the blue bit. There's no way you can get me to do that. You've got to. No, I it. really don't, I'm going to eat the white bit. Welcome back to another Grabologist. I'm Kevin. I'm Tash. Now, as you know, we've had a bit of a layoff because of our various eating disorders. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Diabetes, vegetarian, celiac. Yep. So we've had problems finding things to, um, to test and to check out for you. But today, we found something that we can both eat and we're going to try. It's very, gonna... very rare that we can both eat something. It really is. So I'm really happy about this because I love this. She's not so. <laughs> But I don't care, you know, it's all fun. He's happy. Ah. Mm. So today, we're going to do a selection of weird cheeses that we found from a local vendor on our market called Posh Cheese. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the little card thing. Posh Cheese, there you go. There will be a link there. They do actually sell online so you can get cheeses, you can get these if you want, or other ones. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've seen them on the market, market, but I didn't know they did that. Yeah, they do cheese boxes that they'll send out, huh. which is really cool. good. So, let's get into this. I'm really excited about this. I've had these on the cheese board for ages and I'm just like desperate to, to jump in. So our, our first one is the Isle of Malt Cheddar. Mm. Now apparently, for our older English viewers, I'm going to call this a Womble cheese. Womble. No idea what I'm on about. No idea what I'm on about. Know, no, no idea. So, this is made in Tobamore. Still no idea, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently this is made from milk that comes from cows that only eat the salty grass that grows on the cliffs of Tobermory. And apparently you can taste the sea. And where is Tobermory? Scotland. Scotland. Right north of Scotland. So, I did have Oh, a is that what that one is? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. No. There you go. That's a bit big. Come on. No, I don't want that whole bit. Just. I don't like give the dog what's left. I'll oh, better show you. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just a, an omelet. I hate cheddar. to see in random blocks of cheese. This to me is so. Look, weird. Sure. So you've got to do a smell test. Give it I out did, of five for skin. Right. It's horrible. Oh, that's really good sweaty <laughs> fit. <laughs> it makes me look you're so rubbish. Ugh. Come on. I've got tears in my eyes. Oh, rubbish. This is a lovely cheese. It smells wonderful. Get it. I like melted cheese, and that's about it. This would be fantastic on toast. Oh, okay. Oh, mum, mm, mum. Mm. Mmm. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to swallow it. Ugh. Why does it taste mouldy even though it's not mouldy? That's horrible, Kev. Uh, it's not mold. I thought that was going to be the good one. It's not even mold. It's just strong. It's a strong cheese. Oh. It's a very deep flavour. It is slightly salty. You're crying too. Your eyes look watery to me. That's out of pleasure. You know it's out horrible. Delight. It's beautiful. No, it's not. I really like that. That'd be fantastic on a jacket potato. Though. No, it would ruin the jacket potato. God, you're so bland with your cheese. Dairy Lee Queen. I don't like Dairy Lee. I like cheddar. <laughs> that is cheddar! Not that kind of cheddar. Regular cheddar. Mild cheddar. I don't even like mature cheddar. Mature... Oh, I love mature cheddar. I like mild cheddar. Honestly. The is next that the, one... Is that the mildest one? Mate, I don't know. I haven't tried any of these cheeses. I don't know. I do this. Yeah. The next one is smoked poacher. Okay. Right? That's that one. <laughs> this one comes from Lincolnshire and it's apparently smoked with oak wood. What do you do with these types of cheeses? You just eat them like this? This is what you're supposed to do? Of course. With bread or Can I or not whatever? have the end of it? Okay. You have the end of it. I don't right. like the way it's brown like that. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Right. Oh, it's very smoky. It smells like a fire. It smells like a campfire. Oh, that's pretty good, that, I like that. Okay. Mmm. That one's okay. To be honest, the predominant smoke tastes like smoke, isn't it? That's fine. 
Mm. That's that to me is like a mild cheese with a bit of smoke on the side. Yeah, That's that. fine. The first one was horrendous. This is okay. This apparently has been marketed as the king of um, smoked cheeses. I won't go that far. It's not smoky. Is no, it? but no. I wouldn't say it's the best smoked cheese I've ever had before. Mm. And we've had. Um, so what one was that one? <clears throat> That's called the smoked poacher. Smoked poacher, right? I mean, it's okay. That's okay. It's a very pleasant cheese. Would I buy it? No. But if it was just there and I was pecking it, I should probably eat it. Yeah, I think I probably wouldn't buy that, yeah. to be honest. Not because I hate it, but just because I've had better smoked cheeses. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had smoked cheese. Really? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. I don't really tend to buy anything smoky. No. No, I suppose not. I, I mean, we have a smoked cheese here called Applewood, which I think is particularly delicious. And I, I would say, in my opinion, Applewood is better than that, but that's just my opinion. But that's what we're here for, isn't it? Mm, not nice. not my opinion, but opinions. Opinions. My opinion is no different to anybody else's. It's just an opinion. All right, Mr. Politically Correct. <laughs> <laughs> the next one, I love the name of this. This is Spark and Ho Red Leicester. Yeah, I like this one. Spark and Ho. And this apparently is wrapped in lard cloth. That sounds awful. Yeah, and stored on beach shelves for six months to mature. So it's old and crusty then, yeah? Pretty much old and crusty. Look at the colour of that. Honestly. The colour of that looks really nice. I feel like that on toast would look nice. That on toast would look delicious. Would look delicious. Yeah, it would look nice. <laughs> I don't know what it tastes like, but it would look pretty. Right, so what I'm going to say to you is, right, because although there's no, these are vegetarian free, on the yeah, crust. Yeah, I won't eat that. It makes it look horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit moldy. I'm not eating whatever that is. There's actually no smell to this. No, that smells okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's a nice cheese. That's a good cheese. Mmm. That's nice. I like that. So that would taste good on toast as well. That would taste good. good. That's like a really mature Red Leicester. There's a slight... Mm. So like kind of, oh, there's kind of a fruity taste. Mm, it's nice. What is that here? It's kind of um, what is that? I don't melon. know. There's a bit of a melon taste going on. It's a good cheese though. Yeah. That on toast with a bit of salt. Oh, well, yeah, that'd be, that'd nice. be really that'd good. Be really good. Mm. I like that one. Really Shockingly. Good. Shockingly, I like this one. <laughs> now we're getting the ones that she really, oh, really is scared about. Really scared. These are the ones I look at and I just think, no. One of them is blue, literally. The edge of it's blue and inside of it is blue. And the other one's got a black stripe through it. I know, but we'll get there mm. in the end. So this, this next one, is a local cheese to us. This is Ribblesdale Blue. And it's made from Hawes. Yes, I did say Hawes in North Yorkshire. Look at this. That's wax. No, I know it is, but look, you didn't even show them all the gross bits. <laughs> it's really not gross. I, I don't know. This is you a wouldn't eat mouldy anything else, so why would you eat mouldy cheese? This is a goal, goat's cheese. Please just licked my hand because I just touched the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then, get a piece. Oh, Jesus. I'm not eating the blue bit. There's no way you can get me to do that. You've got to. No, I it. really don't. I'm going to eat the white bit. There's no way I'm eating that. It's no. It's not a very goaty smell. There's a very this slight goaty uh, smell. This comes from a goat. Yeah, this is goat cheese. <laughs> oh, it smells really bad. Come on, just get it in the gob. But you like it. It's mm. easy for you to say. Oh, oh delicious. God, it smells really bad. Come on. Oh, I'm really scared. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to commit to it. <laughs> You're a grubologist. That's disgusting. That is not disgusting. That is really pleasant. I'm going to swallow it, but I don't want it in my mouth. No, it isn't. It's horrible. I'm crying. I'm actually crying. Look, that is really, it's a really mild cheese. That's not mild. It's, it's mild. got a weird earthy taste. That's the blue. That is Ugh. delicious. That is really good. I love it. Absolute woman program. It's creamy. Oh. And unlike Stilton, and where it stays in your mouth as well. Hmm. But unlike Stilton, it's got a really manky 
sort of strong blue. This is very pleasant, I like that. You're Fact. disgusting. I'm disgusted by you. That's horrible. And it comes from a goat. I don't know why they like, weirds me out more than a cow. Why? I don't know, because I don't look at a goat and think... Jeez. I want to milk that. <laughs> you just don't. I don't look at a cow and think I want to milk it. I no, but I mean, cow. it just seems more acceptable to milk a cow. I don't know, a goat doesn't seem like it would produce milk. But you do realise that people milked goats before they milked cows. Oh, I didn't realise that, but it just doesn't seem natural. They had goats in, like, biblical times and before yeah. that. Where did cows come from? They well, just the, spring out the ground. No, but cows cows weren't, I believe, anyway, that cows weren't, um, what do you call it, um, tamed. What right. do you call it? They were, like, wild. Yeah. Oh. So catching hold of a buffalo and giving it a good milking was probably not a good thing to do. Well, I don't think you milk buffaloes. Of course you do. What do you think mozzarella is? Is it? Yeah. Comes from a buffalo? Yeah. The things with the horns? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you actually sure it's not just no, from a buffalo? No, it's buffalo. The buffalo. No, the... no! Mozzarella is Italian! Yeah, but it's called mozzarella, and you get buffalo mozzarella, so isn't it just from buffalo? No, no it's way they buffalo, milk buffalo milk. They do milk buffaloes. <laughs> they milk buffaloes? Yeah, they milk buffaloes. I don't know why, I just feel like they wouldn't make milk. Well, of course they do. You make milk if you get pregnant. I know, but it just doesn't seem right. They why? seem too masculine, like, I'm a buffalo, you know. Well, I've never seen a, a lady buffalo. I'm sure they'd be very upset by you calling them masculine looking. So I've never seen a lady buffalo. This is my point. Where'd they come from? Where do they keep the lady buffaloes? In a shed three doors down. I don't know where they keep them. They'll be in the field with all the other buffaloes, won't they? I'm not convinced that it comes from buffalo. Oh, my God. These young people know nothing. Mozzarella from buffaloes. Mozzarella from buffaloes, yeah. I like mozzarella. And I think there's that other cheese as well. I'm not sure. I think maybe mascarpone is as well, is it? <laughs> from buffaloes. I don't know why. I just figured it all came from a cow. No? But I know there's goat's cheese, I know that's a thing, but I just, you know, when you see cheese everywhere, you just think, oh, it comes from a cow. No, you get, um, you can get sheep cheese as well. There's a Spanish cheese called manchego, which is made from sheep's cheese. And I, I'm not sure, but somebody correct me on this, but I think... Okay, uh, my battery's flashing. I think Wensleydale. Oh dear. I've got another battery. Okay. I just didn't quite think it was going to do that. Right. I think Wensleydale is which is a, a local cheese source i think that's sheep's cheese wensleydale's all right yeah well, that's sheep's cheese i think right. anyway our last cheese is a morbier this one's from france now we know the french do weird stuff and i've got to show oh, you this it's actually kind of wet. yeah it's a wet cheese it's an, i thought it had a film on it no so i don't that's, know if you can see that, that it doesn't have a film on it no what's that on it then it's just the cheese it's just the way it is uh, really? Yeah. Now, we know the French do weird stuff with the food, and they do. Mm. So this is a semi-soft cheese with black vegetable ash running through the middle of it. So random. Why you would... I mean, who would have thought, Ugh, I want to burn these uh, vegetables and uh, put the Isn't ash in like the cheese? carcinogenic then? Probably. Yeah. Oh, it's so strange. It's like a baby bell or something, like string. Yeah. It's like exactly a. Exactly that. Like a dairy what, what, triangle. Like a, yeah, that's it's like a it's, Look really, at that. Really, really soft and stretchy. And if you can squish it and you. Yeah, look. Stretchy. Interesting. Yeah. It smells alright. Smells okay. It smells yeah. like dairy. Let's do it. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to try a bit in the middle. I don't know what the ash does for it. Nothing. Nothing. It doesn't taste of anything. It doesn't does it? taste of anything. That kind of has got kind of a brie vibe going on to it with it, to be honest. That's so random. Yeah. That's alright. Yeah. But imagine that spread on some toast, be nice. So and it would spread as well. It would spread. So what we're saying then for the cheeses before the bat runs out, which is favourite, which is the worst. Mm. So after a quick battery change. We'll do the cheeses. So worst and best. Okay. <clears throat> From worst to best or best to worst? Worst to best. Worst to best. Okay, the worst one was this blue thing. Gross. 
The second worst one was that first one. Mm. The yeah. smell of it is vile. It's horrible. It's the worst smelling one, that one. Right, okay. It, yeah, it's gross. <laughs> right, <laughs> and then I think the second to worst one is the, what's that one? That's the um, smoky poetry. The smoky one, the second one that we tried. And then I think I like the orange one. Did yeah. I like, I like the, the last one, you like, like, yeah, yeah, the so. orange one, and then I like the sauce French one the best. Really? You like the French cheese the yeah. best? You see, I'm going to say, true to form, I'm going to say my worst one... Well, I don't know. My worst one was the smoked poacher, because I think we, the, I've tasted better smoke, smoky cheese. Uh, and I'm going to say my favourite is, keeping it in the North Yorkshire, the goat's cheese, the blue goat's cheese. I really like that. No, the French one's my favourite. You like the French one? Yep. You're such a Dairy Lee girl, you are. Honestly. That's know. why she likes those square crap cheeses that you get do, for sandwich that you, you do, don't you? Do, I do don't you? like those. Yeah, Honestly. And the Dairy Lee ones are really good. Oh, they're like soft. They're like fast. They're like so soft. Fast. I really yeah. like them. <laughs> so. If you think this has been an exciting venture into Grubology, then let us know in the comments because we are struggling to find things to do. And Kev's desperate to buy more cheese. And I'm desperate to buy more cheese. So if you like this, let us know and I'll buy more cheese and I'll force more cheese on Madam here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are looking at other formats that we can do in the future. We might do Grubologists go out. And go out to eat. Go out to eat and see if we can do a review on restaurants and stuff, which would be really quite funny. Try to find something that we can actually, actually eat. Actually eat. Salad yeah. and chips. Yeah. You can't even eat chips, can I you? I can't eat chips, no. Salad for you, salad. chips for me. <laughs> How sad. That's awful, isn't it? You get the old docker type bloke eating salad and the young dolly bird eating chips. Chips. It's weird, isn't it? Why? Because oh, you're supposed, you supposed to eat salad. No. <laughs> I'm not eating salad. I refuse to film, be filmed eating salad. Fair enough. We'll find something though. If you've got any ideas for food that is vegetarian, gluten free, and diabetic and friendly, diabetic friendly then let us know in the comments. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to keep brainstorming and see what we can come up with yeah. other than that. So if you did enjoy it, please do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video so that we know. Leave us a comment down below and let us know what your stance is on cheese. Do you like cheese? Are you like a Kev? Are you a cheese connoisseur? I'm not a connoisseur. I'm just a cheese or hound. Fancy and whatnot. <laughs> um, or are you like me and it literally yeah, makes you want to be sick? Most of it. I like the plainest <laughs> of plain cheese. The plainest. Or anything else is gross. I think, but the stuff you like is barely cheese. Exactly. Okay, cheesy. Right, <laughs> so that's it for us. Another Grubology down in the pan, and we'll see you next time. So, from us, to